So during this year's uh, Google Geo Teachers Institute, one of the participants was wanting to have all the students my maps into kind of one master map. And he was using a JavaScript and kind of a add-on to do this. And then I wanted to find, or see if I could find a simpler way. And I think this is a simpler way. And he just, I think, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. So the idea is that you would have, you know, maybe 20 students or something like that with all their my maps and trying to figure out again how to get them into one uh, Google Earth file, one KML file. And the nice Google engineers uh, allowed us to network link these my maps now into one file. And this simple spreadsheet is just going to, to split and kind of put things back in order so we could use it in one map. So I'm going to first title the map here. So it says only A2. Um, so I'm just going to call this um, election 20, 2016. Or maybe I should just call it pen election. And then there's two maps here, both of Pennsylvania. One just showing, you know, the winners and losers of the voting districts. The other one kind of a color range from... Um, darkest red to uh, brightest blue or brightest red to brightest blue and we're going to put these two maps together so first I'm going to label each one so this is going to be uh, the simple color and this is going to be the color range and then I just have to put the two uh, shared URLs from my map so go to share Make sure that you have it shared with everyone. Copy that URL. That was the simple one. Paste. And then the more complex one, same thing. Get the shared URL. Copy anyone with the view. And then paste. When you're done with that, here's the KML. All put together. So just file, download as tab separate value so basically a text file so 2017 collection and instead of just letting letting it go just put in the kml as the extension so this will actually create a google earth file so just hit save and then you can open it up in google earth and you have your two files so pin election simple color color range it's defaulted set to kind of just be visible on the first one. And then to change the colors, you just uncheck here. Let the network load. Now you have the kind of color ramp one. Again, just to change back. All right. And the really cool thing is that you can also load it into the new Google Earth and we're going to give a, we have a caveat here in a second so there we go import file open file and it will do the same thing it takes a while for the network link to load I'm just going to save it so there's the title I want to change the color ramp just make that one viewable turn that one off and click around and again I'm going to turn this one on turn that one off And then you can zoom in. So the caveat is it works great with polygons and lines. Does not work great with icons that you've built into my maps because those icons again are on a different server, so we're running into the same kind of cross origins issues uh, that um, you've probably already run into if you've used the new Google Earth. So there's kind of an easy way to um, combine multiple student maps into one file. I think the idea that the person had uh, that initially was created that script was just to have all the students here. And that way it'd be easier for the teacher to just go through and kind of look at the different students maps. So my idea is like just share the uh, spreadsheet with the students and have them put their names um, kind of here, the layer name, and then drop their name, their uh, shared URLs here and then you have a kind of big map with a lot of layers um, 
So that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoy it.